Dr. Bremer plans to dispose of Rusty and the Phantom. With Rusty as the come on, a trap is set, and the Phantom unknowingly walks closer and closer to his doom. You stay here, fella. Chances. What was that? Never mind, everything is all right. Who tied you up? Who's responsible for this? Well, I don't know. I was shooting it out with Chris and his gang. Did you find out who they worked for? Yeah, they hang around the Trade Winds Hotel most of the time. I think Singapore Smith could answer a lot of questions. Well, I'll pay Singapore Smith a visit. Oh, my head. Now, suppose we get to the point. I know that you have six of the seven segments or keys which make a map showing the location of the lost city of Zolus. I want them. Try and get them. Well, I have no objection to putting this on a business basis. Will you sell them to me? That all depends. All right. Shall we say $5,000? Don't be ridiculous. What's 5000 for a chance to find some real treasure? All right, I'll make it 20 and you can take it or leave it. You'll have to do better than that. Didn't you hear me say 20, Rocco? That's what it sounded like to me. Okay. Give me the money. Now I'll take the keys. I haven't got them here. What do you mean you haven't got them here? You don't think I'm silly enough to keep them around where guys like you can get them without a payoff? Well, where did you put them? You know that little house I own out at the end of town? Of course. Well, they're hid under the fourth stepping stone leading to the back porch. Now, you wouldn't lie to me, would you, Smith? Why should I? You've paid me more than enough to make it worth my while to tell the truth. A bullseye. You fool. I told you to wait until I gave you the signal. Found out what you wanted to know. You didn't need him any longer. Supposing he lied. I wanted to play safe, have him take us to the place where he hid the stuff. He didn't lie. Not for 20 grand. For your sake, I hope you're right. Now get over there and find out. Right. I saw you come in this office. So you got him after all, huh? I might as well find out who you are. Take off those glasses. 
Well, I'll take them off myself. Now you listen to me. I didn't attack Smith. Well, I suppose he'll back you up. I'm sure he will as soon as he regains consciousness. Well, since you're so anxious to clear yourself, I better go fetch the doc so I can bring Smith out of his stupor. Do I look foolish enough to let you go so you can bring the police? Bring for the houseboy. Now, when that houseboy gets here, no monkey business. Like having him tip off the police. Uh, come in. You ring? I want you to go to Dr. Bremer and tell him to come here quickly. Mr. Smith needs his attention. Me go. Big hurry up. Introduce me to Dr. Bremer as Walker. Understand? Help me put Smith on the couch. Don't tell me. I know. They weren't there. No. You self-satisfied bonehead. All you had to do was obey my orders. Then we could have made Smith take us to where he really hid the stuff. But, Doc, I thought I was helping you. You fought. Since when have I paid you to think? All you're supposed to do is follow my instructions. But no, you wouldn't do that. You had to kill a man with a knife. No, Doc. Don't, Doc. No, Doc. No. Don't, Doc. Please, no. Dr. Bremer. Dr. Bremer. Who is it? Houseboy from hotel. Mr. Miller said for you to come to Mr. Smith's office. He's very sick. You say Miller sent you? Oh, yes. He said for you to come very quick to save the uh, life of Mr. Smith. All right, I'll be right over. Houseboy saved your life. Gee, I'm glad Smith ain't dead. Now maybe you can get him to tell the truth about those keys. Maybe. Hey, wait a minute. You might be walking into a trap. I'm way ahead of you. Ah, uh, Singapore Smith is plenty tricky. I know that. Take a couple of boys and go to the hotel. If I'm not out of Smith's office in 20 minutes, knock on the door. Okay. Now on, what you say goes. Let me hear you say it. Mr. Walker and I found Singapore right over there with a knife wound in his back. Say it again. Mr. Walker and I found Singapore right over there with a knife wound in his back. Fine, don't forget. Uh, Smith, Singapore. Dr. Bremer, this is Mr. Walker. How do you do? Mr. Walker and I found Singapore right down there with a knife wound in his back. Singapore stabbed? I hope you can bring him out of his coma, Doctor, so we can learn the name of the man who attacked him. This condition's very serious. You might better wait outside. Uh, maybe you're right, Doctor, but uh, I can't afford to miss anything Smith may say when it comes to. No time to argue now. I'll do what I can. Under the circumstances, it'll be a miracle if he ever speaks again. <sighs> Smith, can you hear me? Smith! He's out of his head. You can't depend on what he'll say. This will relieve him, though. Okay, Smith. Smith. I've got another dose. What are you trying to say? I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him. In his condition, you can't believe anything he'll say. I didn't tell him. Didn't I... tell him what? About keys. I fooled him. I fooled him. Fooled whom? Told him keys... Under stepping stones. <laughs> Whom are you trying to talk about? Talking. Talking about... Let me give him this. 
Yes, Smith. <laughs> Where are the keys? The keys. Where are the keys? And back of yes, back of what? Back of warehouse. Smith. Smith. Singapore. Any consolation to you, the medicine wouldn't have done him any good. Now, what did he mean by keys in the warehouse? Nothing that would interest you. Oh? Too bad he didn't name the murderer. By the way, I imagine the authorities will want to question you. I'm well aware of that. Wait a minute. I hope you forgive me for this, Doctor. You can open the door after I leave. You ain't leaving. <laughs> Drop that gun and put up your hands. Come on. Open up. Open up. Evening, gents. Oh, I'm sure glad to see you, fellas. Here's a fellow that murdered Singapore Smith. Turn him over to police. With pleasure. Get my gun. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why waste your time chasing him? He'll go to a warehouse searching for the keys. Oh, sure, that's right. He stuck up Singapore Smith once before. And that's just what he was after. Give him a chance to get there first. If he finds the keys, you'll be there in plenty of time to take them away from him. Whatever you say, boss. Right. Stay out here while Braddock and me search inside. I got him cornered in that old well. You two keep your guns on him from here and I'll slip around through the brush. Right.
That must have sent him to the bottom. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure he stays there. Come on, give me a hand with it. Is Diana going to be the ruthless Bremer's next victim? Have the saboteurs turned against their leader? Learn the answer in In Quest of the Keys, the next dynamic episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. (laughs) 